Empire's Age of Sigmar Dominion, the long-awaited and anticipated Games Workshop Age of Sigmar Phase 3, Version 3, whatever you want to call it, Revision 3. Uh, this is obviously going to be a hugely amateurish unboxing as I am a complete YouTube novice. Uh, so, you know, enjoy the fact that this isn't a professional unboxing and, you know, it's going to be a bit ropey in places. You'll have seen all of the um, really slick ones that people were doing ahead of time, ahead of release. Um, this isn't going to be anything like that. So enjoy. So the first thing I thought that might be quite fun to do would be to try and weigh the box because it's a pretty weighty thing and you don't really get that impression when you um, see it on websites and on the internet and so on. Now I got out my, um, my home baking scales and you'll see what happens when I put it on. So they're on a level surface. It's going up, it's going up, and error. <laughs> and it actually makes the scales break. But I don't know if you saw, but it went up to about 3.2. So I reckon that this is probably about a three and a half to four kilo box, which is quite weighty for some plastic and some paper. So I've turned the box over, as you can see. There is some really nice, as always with Games Workshop products, box art um, demonstrating the two new well, updated factions um, facing off against each other in a particularly dank looking swamp setting. Excellent use of some fake smoke there, whether they use a smoke machine or whether they just add that digitally, I have no idea. But as always, you can see you know, really excellent paint jobs that they do on their models. And sorry, I'm panning too fast. I really like these new uh, orc guys. They've got cool boys. I think because of the red shields, they sort of remind me of um, of squigs. And who doesn't like a squig, right? And you've got the killer boss on the great Nash tooth there. Some sort of, uh, I don't know, dog type thing. Looks quite savage and vicious. Uh, facing off against uh, Indrasta, the celestial spear, who, you know, just a really cool looking model with a really nice scenic base. Those steps are part of the base, in case you didn't realise. Um, I really like the helmetless look on some of these guys. Just adds a bit more interest and variety. I mean, gold and blue is classic um, Stormcast Eternal slash Sigmarine kind of look. I really like it as a colour scheme. Not sure whether I'll paint them that myself. I've already got quite a few in that colour scheme, but uh, you know, it is classic and it does look really nice. And I'm really quite forward to painting the uh, the cruel boys as well actually they like a bit of um orc and grot action so as you can see that's the back of the box just zoom out again lovely pictures there of uh, intrasta such a cool model and the killer boss as well it's such a great time to be into this hobby and really, you know, into Games Workshop um, products especially. You know, I was, oh, get, gosh, 12 years old, so 1992, getting into their games back in, well, Rogue Trader slash version 2 of Warhammer 40k, maybe revision 3, I can't remember. Uh, and Space Hulk and Space Marine and Hero Quest and all of those games and of course they are classic and iconic um, and really you know great models for the time but my goodness me the stuff you get nowadays is absolutely incredible 
the sculpting, the painting, the range of the products, unbelievable. Right, I'm going to take the, the protective film off and we'll have a look inside the box. I realised once I started cutting the first edge that actually there's probably people who would really enjoy this from a sort of ASMR point of view. So let's get cutting with my slightly blunt pen knife. This blunt, this knife is really blunt. Maybe I'll go for the old uh, rip and peel approach. Okay, are we ready? <gasps> nice. Such a good seal. Should we do an unboxing from the top of the box? Whoa. Here we go. You see the remnants of the film there? My God, that actually worked. Now, can I transfer quickly? Great artwork. And there's the inside of the box. Fantastic picture. Again, amazing artwork that you get with these things. The fact that this is just a box insert and it's a legit piece of artwork that you could hang up, you know, frame and hang up in your geek space or your home office or whatever. Lots of plastic. Or oh, Hammer Age of Sigmar. It's nice, I think, that they actually put the... Um, the logo on the back so that the artwork doesn't get spoiled by the pointy bits of the sprues. You can see in a few places where there's been a little bit of mild damage, which, you know, that's probably the worst one. Which, you know, if that was the beautiful picture, you'd probably be a bit upset. But as far as I can tell, okay, there's a few little dents, but you won't notice those when it's in a frame. And what's really good about this as well, of course, is it gives you a bit of a reference in terms of how to paint the models. I don't know about you, but sometimes I'll be looking at a, a model and thinking, what the heck is that supposed to be? Is it a bit of armor? Is it, you know, is it supposed to be like a leather glove or, you know, is it fabric? Is it metal? Sometimes it's difficult to tell. So these are quite helpful, I think. I have to say, with these new Stormcasts, because, just to continue on that theme, large parts of the armour are intended to be fully metal. Whichever colour you go for, it's actually quite a lot of single tones. And then you have these other parts, like the sort of the gaiters around their waist, which obviously, you know, in a different colour, and the, the shoulder pieces and the plumage that's great that makes it so easy but fun at the same time because they'll really look interesting when they're done and enables you to do a lot of different color schemes potentially and you know you can go for that unified army look or you know different colors for different squads really cool really like that same with the uh, the cool boys the fact that you've got these guys, these hobgrots that they're called, with the slightly sort of yellowy, oily looking skin, really like that. A bit different to the kind of the, the standard green skins. Gonna be a lot of fun to paint these, I'm sure. Wow, it's a lot of plastic. It's a lot of plastic. I don't even know where to begin with this. I mean, you've all seen plastic sprues before, right? Um, I don't know if you guys know the Faux Hammer website. I'll try and put a link into the description. He did a 
Oh, the guys there did a really good um, sort of demonstration of what bits go where on the sprues. Because uh, there's a lot of bits. You get 60 odd models in this box set. That's quite a lot. And it's why it's such you know, good value. I got this for £90 from, uh, I can't actually name, remember the retailer's name. I just searched around for the, the, the best price. It was £90 delivered. Admittedly, I bought some other bits as well to get it over their delivery threshold. But £90 for 60, 62 possibly models that you get in the box, something like that. You know, in, in toy soldier world, that's good value for money. Plus there's all the other bits as well. I think what I'm gonna do is take all this plastic out, set it to one side and have a look at what else is in the box. Okay, so we've got the plastic removed, literally just took it out in one great big lump because um, then it will go back in a bit easier. Uh, so we have another picture. Uh, this time it uh, doesn't seem to have fared quite so well. A few sort of dents and bruises, but hey, that's what's going to happen when it's underneath. I think it's a, yeah, it's a direct copy of the one above. Okay, and then we've got a nice cardboard insert. Same image again underneath, and then uh, the paperwork. So they're war scroll cards or whatever they're called, and I think uh, this is some sort of uh, rules, probably quick start rules for um, scenarios to play, and then. I think I'll be occupying my time for quite a while is the main core book. My goodness, that is a beautiful piece of artwork on the front there. Spectacular, really incredibly dynamic, vivid. Apologies, this is obviously being shot on an iPhone because I'm a complete rookie, but wow. Really great picture, really sets up the uh, the character of, um, I believe that would be Indrasta, the Celestial Spear, um, fighting, wow, difficult to tell actually, the kind of generic toothy squidgy monsters around, don't look to be the, uh, the cruel boys necessarily, but hey, that's cool, very much sets up her as the central character in the piece. Something you can't quite appreciate from this is just how heavy this book is. This has got to be half the weight of the box, if not more. This is the time of turmoil, the era of war, the age of Sigmar, blah. It's a chunky one. Uh, it is probably on for an inch thick compared to my thumb there. It's a pretty chunky book. I think it's something like 300 odd pages. It is a nice thing and to be honest it was one of the inducements that, that persuaded me to buy Dominion. That and the large quantity of, of uh, miniatures but that is a lovely lovely thing. I'm going to enjoy flicking through it later and reading up on some law and some rules. I have to say what, again, a good thing that Games Workshop do is that they will publish their rules on their website. And I think the core rules is something like a 40 page PDF. It might even be less than that. I did download it, haven't had a time to look at it yet. But, you know, it, it does mean you don't necessarily have to buy one of their boxes. And they've got a number of Age of Sigmar box sets that are coming out soon. I don't think I'm gonna buy them because you know, I think Dominion offered the biggest value. Um, and do you know what? I've just spotted something lurking. This is probably a bag of bases. What a guess. Bag of bases. That's what a bag of 60-odd bases looks like, guys. Now we know. 
Let me come in here. Oh, a couple of big bases. That'll be for our uh, killer boss. That's the name of the chap. And that'll be for Indrasta. Wow, very good. So guys, thanks very much if you've watched this far for um, seeing my amateur unboxing of Age of Sigma Dominion. It's a really cool box set. It still seems to be available in a number of places. I'll put a link to where I bought it from uh, in the description. Uh, I think it was Firestorm Games. That's uh, the, the name that's just popped back into my head. It's a really cool box set. If you're in the market for this kind of thing, fantasy miniatures, you probably can't go far wrong. Um, if you're an Age of Sigma fan or you're interested in getting into it, then this probably represents still the best value option. Um, just in terms of miniatures and I guess product for your money. I mean, that book is quite the thing. Um, Plus you get these other niceties as well. It's a nice thing. Be a good gift for somebody as well, frankly. Uh, sadly, missed my birthday and I didn't want to miss out, you know, and put it on a Christmas list. So, uh, you know, I was a little bit naughty, put it on a credit card. Don't tell anyone. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching. Uh, more videos will come at some point once I work out how to do YouTube. If you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, hopefully more content coming soon.